what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? It looks like the outcry over Meek Mills' sentencing has attracted the attention of the FBI. The big bad FBI is on this now, y'all. They are coming after the judge because they're saying that the only reason the judge sentenced Meek Mills, this is his lawyer claiming this, the only reason that the judge sentenced Meek Mills to two to four years in prison for violating his probation is because Meek Mills would not leave Jay-Z's Rock Nation to sign with a guy by the name of Charlie Mack out in Philadelphia, who Meek Mills used to work with back in the day. Also, the judge had requested that Meek Mills redo Boys to Man song on Bended Knee and mention her by name, which Meek Mills apparently refused to do. Now, they also saying that a source close to this case is saying that the FBI has been monitoring Meek Mills' case since April of 2016. They've been in the courtroom, been at these hearings and stuff. So they've been watching this dude for a minute. <sighs> a corrupt judge in the United States of America. That's hard to believe. Post your sarcasm any way you want to put it at. We find that today's FBI investigation is also interesting because they'll investigate the judge, but they won't do their job to seriously investigate Donald Trump, the President of the United States of America, for colluding with Russia to win the presidency of the United States of America. Also, Let's get right down to this, man. Let's be real with this. A regular person who had violated their probation conditions over and over, had received numerous reprieves, they would have been gone. But because Meek Mill is who, he, who, is who he is, He's been given breaks. The prosecutor and the Meek Mills' uh, probation officer both requested to the judge that he not do time. Neither of them wanted him to do time, but the judge decided, I'm going to give you two to four years anyway. This problem could have easily been solved if Meek would have just did what he was supposed to do. Man, when those people give you time, when they give you that probation, they give you the probation knowing that you're probably going to mess up again. So it's like when you violate, you fall right into the trap that they wanted you to fall into in the first place. You're playing their game. Who the hell stays on probation for 10 years? A person who continues to commit criminal acts. Pissing illegal when you're on probation, the dirty P test, that's criminal. Not showing up to See your probation officer, that's criminal. Going out of state, or even in some cases the city, depending on your terms, outside of your city limits, is a crime. And of course, any type of fights you get into, if you were told not to be in uh, nightclubs or whatever, I'm sure he got a pass on that because he have to, it's work related. So he have to perform at nightclubs from time to time. So I'm sure he got a break on that. But man, you got to follow those conditions, man. You got to follow those conditions to the T. 
You can't even move out of your house when you're on probation without getting permission first from the courts. You got to let them know your movement. Now, of course, you know, some of this helps to reform people and, and you know, but really it's all a hustle, man. At the bottom, it's all a hustle. They know you're going to make these mistakes because they make it hard for you. That's why they tell you also, hey, man, uh, they'll give you the guidelines. They'll say, hey, you can't hang out with the same people you used to hang out with. They'll tell you in many cases that you can't live in the same house with a felon. You can't hang out with felons. You're not even supposed to write to people that's incarcerated once you get out, if you're on probation or parole. <laughs> They, 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 and then, and like, what if, you know, you got a brother, you know, a family member, a best friend or something that's locked up, you know, you're not supposed to write to them. You can't live. You can't even associate with them. Of course, that's very, very hard to do, but they have the latitude to come in and snatch you up if they want to. If they decided right now, Everybody that's on probation, everybody that's on parole, we finna go and pay a visit to them. In most cases, they're not supposed to be around other people that have criminal records. They can, they'll probably lock up 90% of the people out there. But they know they don't really want to do that. But that's just one thing that they have hanging over your head. If they wanted to get you, they could get you. So the name of the game, man, is stay out of those people's way especially if you're a black man. The trap is set. They want our bodies cold or warm. They want us, man. Meek got to be a lot smarter the next time around. I do believe he's coming home soon. I don't think he's going to do two to four years. I do believe that the judge is corrupt. There's too much evidence out there, too many people out there that's corroborating this story that, yeah, she is a dirty judge which a lot of them are. I think you have to be dirty to some extent to work in America's judicial system because it's, it's fixed, it's corrupt, it's biased. So while the FBI is talking about their probing this case, they've opened up an investigation, I don't trust them because the FBI and the judge play on the same team. How do you think that's going to work out? No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.